port A is defined to be the origin and port B is located at the point 7030 um, where distances are measured in kilometers. A ship S1 sails from port A at 10 o'clock in a straight line such that its position T hours after 10 o'clock is given by vector R. Speedboat S2 is capable of three times the speed of S1 and is to meet S1 by traveling the shortest possible distance. What is the latest possible time that S2 can leave port B? So, situation looks like this. There is uh, port A, which is origin, and S1 is traveling in a straight line. And at uh, point 7030, uh, there is port B, and S2 is moving at the shortest possible distance, it's, it means perpendicular and the emitted point P. And uh, hence position at any moment of time, we consider 10 o'clock as a, a moment of time where T is equal to zero, initial moment of time. And uh, position of S2 can be described by the following its parameter t which is time and velocity vector 10 20 and uh, position s2 is equal to initial position vector is 70 30 plus some parameter let it be lambda and velocity vector of s2 it's it is not given let it be a b a b its velocity vector uh, for s2 and actually you know, what is asked we can see the point of intersection p and uh, for example time required uh, to reach uh, point p for s1 is 30 minutes and uh, hence uh, uh, speed of B is greater, it, uh, require, it requires less time to reach P, for example, 20 minutes. Hence, uh, the latest time that uh, B can leave, uh, S2 can leave uh, port B uh, uh, would be 10, 10. I hope you understand what is uh, required here. And uh, hence, we need find time required um, by S1 to reach point P and uh, also we need find time required to reach point uh, P by S2. And actually time required for S1 is T and time required uh, for S2 is lambda. So actually we need find T and lambda. And it is also given that speed of S2 and speed its velocity vector by magnitude, its magnitude of velocity vector. So speed of S2 is 3 times speed of S1. And since we can see the point of intersection P, uh, hence uh, uh, since it's common point, we can consider simultaneous equations so that x coordinate of s1 is equal to x coordinate of s2 and also the same for y coordinate so we can get the next uh, simultaneous equations 10t is equal to 70 plus uh, lambda a 20t is equal to 30 plus lambda b we need T and lambda but uh, we have four unknown variables so we need additional equations so uh, the first uh, additional equation we can get it's uh, we can use uh, that information uh, uh, that uh, velocity of s1 is perpendicular to velocity of s2 and uh, it means that velocity, we can write velocity of S1 is perpendicular of S2. And if two vectors are perpendicular, it means that dot product 
is equal to zero. So velocity vector OS1 dot product velocity vector OS2 is equal to zero. So it becomes 10 A plus 20 B is zero and A is minus 2 B. Another information uh, we can use it uh, for speed and speed it's magnitude of a vector. The magnitude of a vector is root of the sum of squares, so speed of S2 it's root of a squared plus b squared. Magnitude of this vector is equal to 3 times magnitude of this vector. It's root of 10 squared plus 20 squared, which is root of uh, 500. And if we square it, uh, we get a squared plus b squared is 9 times 5. And if we substitute this, we get 4b squared plus b squared is equal to, and actually it's 5b squared is equal to 9 times 500, divide by 5, and get that b is 30, hence from this. A is minus 60 and now the system becomes 10 T is 70 minus 60 lambda 20 T is 30 plus 30 lambda where T is time required uh, for S1 to reach point of intersection and lambda is time required for S2 to reach point of intersection. And uh, it's quite easy. And if we solve this linear system or equations from here, T is 13 over 5 and lambda is 22 over 30. And you can see that uh, time for S2 is uh, less so it uh, can wait some time and if we time uh, if we find time difference so uh, thir uh, 13 over 5 minus 22 over 30 it's uh, 56 over 30 it is measured in hours and if we multiply by 60 it is equal to 112 minutes so time difference is 112 minutes hence uh, the latest possible latest possible time required uh, time that s2 can leave port b is equal to 10 o'clock plus 112 minutes so the latest uh, possible time is 11.52 and that's all for this question.